Hey, did you hear? Today turned into an absolutely massive news day. A Thursday at the end of May turned into basically pre-E3. People know that E3 is coming, people know the Summer Games Fest is coming, and we're already starting to get a ton of video game news. Let's start with one of my favorite things from today. PlayStation showed us our first deep dive into Horizon Forbidden West. We got a state of play that showed off almost 15 minutes of new footage, and the game looks beautiful. It's colorful. We got to see Aloy diving underwater with fish swimming around, and it looked colorful and beautiful and vibrant. She looks so much more agile and mobile than she did in the first game. We have like a new hook shot that you're able to kind of catapult yourself into the air. She has a glider now that she can use to get down from taller surfaces. It looks really cool. It looks destructible. There was a whole encounter with a mammoth that looks really cool. The enemy designs in that game just look so interesting and complex. And seeing that thing truck through ruins and just destroy everything in its path looks really, really interesting. We didn't get a release date, we didn't get a ton of information, but we got 15 minutes of footage. I'm hoping we find out the release date soon. People still seem to think it's coming out this year and I really hope it does. I'm expecting a November release date. Maybe we'll find out more in June with Summer Games Fest or with E3, but this is just the beginning. We also had a Dragon Quest event last night where we got a bunch of new information on some Dragon Quest. They finally showed off the first little bit of title for Dragon Quest 12 and this has me hyped. I love Dragon Quest XI. It's a fantastic game, and it's actually the game that got me into Dragon Quest. So seeing Dragon Quest XII, even if it's just a logo, looks pretty cool. They went on to tell us that it's apparently a much more mature and darker Dragon Quest. They used the words Dragon Quest for adults, and we know that we're getting a worldwide release for the first time in the franchise's history. We are also getting a remake of Dragon Quest III in that 2D HD engine, which is, looks like Octopath. The game looks beautiful and for myself who doesn't have a lot of dragon quest experience but loved 11 i'm excited to be able to jump into 12 and to revisit 3 for the first time but there's even more and we got even more information than that pokemon decided to randomly drop out of nowhere on twitter not even part of a direct the release dates for its upcoming pokemon games we now know that pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl are coming november 19th and legends arceus is coming january 28th I've never played Diamond and Pearl, so I'm excited to have an opportunity to get into the remakes. I'm still not completely sold on the art style, but I'm curious to see more from it. Arceus looks like a massive departure from what Pokemon has done before. It looks like they're taking some risks. I hope they work out. January seems a little bit early for me, given the state of the game that we saw in that first trailer. But who knows, maybe it's a long further than it, than it looks. Maybe they've made huge improvements. I'm excited to see more, but we know we're getting Pokemon November 19th and then again January 28th. But there is still even more! We also had our first Sonic Central today, which we gave, Sega gave us a whole bunch of information on everything Sonic. We got an announcement for Sonic Colors Ultimate, which you'll remember is a remastered edition of the one that came out back in 2010. A lot of people have a lot of love for Sonic Colors. I've never had a chance to play it, but I'm excited to have that opportunity. September 7th, we know Sonic Colors Ultimate, September 7th. We know that there is a new Origins compilation coming that has one, two, three, and Knuckles and CD. We didn't get a release date for that, but that's in the pipeline. The last thing that we saw, outside of some mobile stuff and some other game, you know, team-ups, is we saw a little bit of a new 3D Sonic game coming in 2022. Now, we did get some leaks from 4chan a few months ago, back in January, about something called Sonic Rangers, which is apparently taking a lot of inspiration from Breath of the Wild. It's going to be open world, you're going to be able to run around. There's skill trees, apparently. Now, all of this is unverified. The only thing that we got from Sega today was a little bit of a cinematic, but an open world Sonic game sounds interesting for me. 3D open game, 3D Sonic games have been kind of hit or missed. I love Adventure and Adventure 2, so I'm hoping that this is more along those lines and not something like Unleashed, but we will find out soon. But there's even more than that. And we actually got some spooky and scary new information today. We actually learned a lot about Dying Light 2. We now know that it's called Dying Light Stay Human. It's been a while since we've had any concrete information. We got like an eight minute video all about it today. We know it's coming December 7th to all current and next-gen consoles. And they had a big focus talking about how intricate the story is going to be, how much your decisions matter. They showed off a bunch of the different factions that rule the city. Do you align yourself with the more militant group? Do you go with the thugs? Do you go with the people just trying to bring hope back? 
this seems like there's going to be a lot of interesting characters and you're gonna have to try and make your moves to decide who you want to help out. Now, I think the game looks cool. I wasn't a big fan of the first one, but the jumps looked a little too floaty from that gameplay. It looked like you were kind of like really taking off every time you took a jump. Maybe that's just a stylistic choice, but I don't know. Something about it just looked a little weird. Maybe it's just me, but Dying Light 2, Stay Human is coming December 7th. So get ready for that. And now for our last story. The last thing that I want to tell you about, Bloomberg was actually reporting on the Switch Pro. It seems like we're getting information imminently. Apparently a lot of third party publishers are getting excited and wanting to talk about their games at E3 or Summer Games Fest. It means that this Switch Pro, which is apparently gonna have a better battery, better graphics, a much upgraded version of the Switch that we have today, apparently coming this fall. September or October is what a lot of insiders are saying. So it seems like we're going to be finding out about this pretty soon if it's coming out that quickly. I'm really curious to finally see it. I wanna see if they've redesigned what the actual console looks like. I wanna understand how is it different, what's better, but an upgraded Switch, I'm already in. Do we see Breath of the Wild 2? Maybe, we're gonna find out. So we've heard about a lot of different stuff today. We've heard about Pokemon, Dying Light, Horizon. There is so much stuff coming. And with the E3 and Summer Games Fest, I'm sure we're gonna get a lot more information very, very soon. But what do you think? What are you excited about? I'm looking forward to Pokemon. I'm looking forward to Dying Light. Horizon's got me amped. A Switch sounds so cool. Give me that Switch Pro. What do you think? What are you excited about? What do you expect to find out at E3 and Summer Games Fest? What do you think?